Hey, what is going on guys? So you have a Google Chromecast. It doesn't matter if you have the first generation, second, even the third generation. I'm gonna show you how to hook it up to a projector. It's very, very simple. It's the same thing as hooking up to a TV or even a computer monitor. The only thing a projector needs, it needs to have an HDMI port. All the projectors I have have HDMI ports too. This one has it. I got like three or four other ones that have HDMI ports. Obviously this one here does as well. Now I'm watching a YouTube video here uh, from uh, from the um, YouTube app here. Eye spinners. But we can go ahead and pause that. Let me go ahead and open up a uh, Netflix movie. So I got Netflix open here, and let me go ahead and connect this to the uh, my Chromecast here, and we're going to go ahead and play a little bit of uh, Flash here. I'll go ahead and fast forward this. Let me shut the lights off really fast. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and factory reset this first and I'm gonna start from the very, very beginning setup process. Uh, the thing is, if you guys already have this hooked up in your house, uh, like on a TV, and you have a projector in your house as well, you don't have to set up anything. The only thing you gotta do is simply just go ahead and unplug the uh, Chromecast from your TV and plug it right into your projector here. And then with your projector, you need to, need to go to the uh, HDMI port, okay? So for example, so I have the Chromecast already plugged in. The things you guys gotta do is you need to grab your remote control or you should have a control switches on your projector as well. Just go to the input and you wanna look for and you want to go to where it says HDMI, obviously, okay? So go to HDMI, and then I'll simply go ahead and press on OK. And then once you press on OK, now the Chromecast is hooked up. Now you just got to go to any phone that's hooked up to you to the same uh, Wi-Fi network that your Chromecast is hooked up to, and you can go ahead and cast YouTube videos or Netflix or whatever. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and start off from the very beginning. I'm going to do a factory reset right now. So if you guys are doing uh, this beginning stage two, you can just simply just watch, okay? So first thing is, make go ahead and plug in your uh, Chromecast. Make sure the uh, USB is plugged into to give it power, and the Chromecast itself is plugged into an HDMI port on your projector. And then make sure you go to the input on the, on the projector and go to HDMI, okay? Now I'm gonna go, first thing I'm gonna do is gonna, gonna do a factory reset here which you don't have to do this stuff if you just bought it out of the box, but you can if you wish, okay? Basically, it erases everything, and it's gonna make it as if I just bought it brand new and took it out of the box. So if you look on the Chromecast, there's one button on here. It doesn't matter what generation Chromecast you have, but there's basically one button. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave mine plugged in, and you see like a little white light here? I'm gonna go ahead and press this one little button that's on here. I'm gonna press and hold it, I'm gonna, I'm, and I'm gonna wait for like 10 or 15 seconds until it starts giving me Okay, there we go. So it just turns white fully. Now I can go ahead and let go. And now if you go ahead and look on the uh, wall there, it says uh, restarting, performing a factory reset. So now I just have to wait like a few minutes to let this go through its process. Okay, so now it says uh, get the app, download the um, Google Home app. Now the next thing you wanna do is go ahead and grab your phone. This is a Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. However, it doesn't matter if you're using a Android phone or even like an iPhone, okay? It's all the same process. Simply go to your app store and you wanna go ahead and download Google Home. And what this is gonna do is we're gonna be able to set up this Google Chromecast on here. We're gonna go ahead and connect it to our home Wi-Fi network, okay? And the thing is, once we get this all set up and hooked up to our home Wi-Fi network, not only will be able to use Chromecast in this projector, but I can pop it into this one right away and I can go ahead and start using the uh, Chromecast. I can put it directly into a TV. I can put it in the computer monitor. I can even go to any phone that's connected to my home Wi-Fi network in my home to be able to cast uh, YouTube videos and uh, Netflix and so on. Anyways, go ahead and grab your phone, uh, search for Google Home, search for it and then um, I already have Google Home um, installed here. You get to this first page here and simply you can just click on uh, get started. I'm, I'm gonna go through this like really, really quickly here. And for me, this is a new device here. I'm gonna go to tap on that. Name your home here. 
I'll just name it home, how's that? Click on done, go to next. It's looking for devices now and we have to kind of look at the screen. Let me turn this light off here. And let me uh, focus in on here a little bit. So if you look at my phone here, it found a couple Chromecast devices here. And what I had to do is look at the screen and you see on the bottom right hand corner, it says Chromecast 2483. So obviously if I go back to my phone here, I know it's this top one, Chromecast 2483. Let me go ahead and tap on that. And then we're gonna go ahead and click on next. Now it's connecting the Chromecast. Okay, it says connected here and also on my screen here it popped up R8 uh, S6, which is right on my phone. So that is exactly, so I can see the, uh, the letter, the number. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on yes down here. And then here, improve Chromecast, no thanks. I, I'm not gonna do any of this. And then where is the device lo located? You can put it anywhere. I'm just gonna put it in, in uh, let's just say office here. Oops, office right there. I'll click on next. Now I have to connect it to my home Wi-Fi, which is going to be this one right here, ITIS Guest. I'm going to go ahead and click on Next. And then from here, you can uh, click on Next. I'm going to uncheck that and just click on OK. And now you can see the screen here. And now this pops up my phone here, linking your Chromecast. Uh, your Chromecast uses your Google account to personalize your experience. You can go on next. I'm just gonna go ahead and click on no thanks because we're pretty much connected at this point. Uh, no thanks to that. No, not now. So it says all done here and you can see the name of this Chromecast is in my um, office here and my Wi-Fi name in my home here. I'll just click on continue. Office TV is ready, continue, that's it. So now we are up and running. So the only thing I gotta do now is I can simply go ahead and open up a YouTube app right now on my phone, or I can open up um, another, something else that I wanna cast like Netflix or whatnot. And I don't have to use this phone again, okay? Even though I connected the uh, Chromecast to my home Wi-Fi network, now I can go ahead and, I can go ahead and use this iPhone to um, cast something um, or this phone here, or I can use this phone. Any phone that's connected to your home Wi-Fi network, the same uh, Wi-Fi network that we have your Google Chromecast connected to, they'll be able to cast as well. Let me just go ahead and, uh, I, I'll go ahead and cast a YouTube video here. So let me go ahead and open up my uh, YouTube app here. And here's the casting icon on the top right hand side right here on the YouTube app. I'll tap on that. And here's Office TV right there. I'll tap on that and go ahead and let this video play here. Ooh, man, I think that's like half of them, guys. But we're almost half there now. So you can see it playing here. Now the cool thing with Chromecast too is, I mean, you can go ahead and you can make phone calls, you can put your phone to sleep, you can send text messages, you can browse the internet, you can check your emails, all while your YouTube video or Netflix or whatever is playing in the background. Anyways, like I said, we can cast using any other phone that's connected to my home Wi-Fi network. You can come to my house right now, connect to my home Wi-Fi network, and you can go ahead and cast whatever you want as well. Okay, so now we have the one projector uh, hooked up with the Chromecast. Now the thing is, because we already set everything up with the Chromecast that's connected to our home Wi-Fi network, now we can go ahead, if we want to, we can just go ahead and unplug this and we can connect another projector, a TV, a com computer monitor. Let's go ahead and, and uh, put the Chromecast onto my other projector here and I'll also put it on my TV here. There's no setup process whatsoever except plugging it, plugging it in. So let me go ahead and take it out of uh, this projector here and then we're gonna move over to this one here that I haven't used in like over a year. Hopefully it fires up. So here's the HDMI port right there. Pop that right in here. Let me go ahead and press the, uh, let me power this one on. And the, uh, I need to plug the USB in to give it power here. And let me go ahead and move this over. And first thing we gotta do after we have it plugged in is we need to make sure that it is on the uh, HDMI port. So let me go ahead and turn the lights off here. Oops, sorry, I need it on. I don't have the remote for this one. I don't know where it's at. So let's just go to like settings here. Okay, now I have to go to 
HDMI. I'm going to go ahead and press on OK. And now just grab any phone that I have hooked up to my uh, home here. Let me just grab my uh, S10 here. This is the or the uh, S10 Plus this is the one that I hooked up uh, using uh, download a Google uh, Home app on. But it doesn't matter. I can use this phone. I can use another phone. So just to make sure that it works, let's go ahead and fire up a. Um, we'll just use a uh, YouTube video here. Let me go ahead and just uh, click on this video here. Hey, what is going on, Oops. guys? So you and I need to go ahead and cast it. So here's the casting icon here, top right hand side. Let me tap on that and eh, there's office tv right there let me tap on that and now we should go ahead and connect let me go ahead and turn hey, the lights off here guys. so you have a samsung galaxy note 10 here i'm going to show you how to enable and how to use the screen recorder very very simple and like i said if you're casting i mean you can do any i can put my phone to sleep whatever i want to do i can make a phone call send text messages and let me just stop it so i'll just bring the video back up and uh go to the uh, casting icon i'll just oops let me just tap on that and then i can click on stop casting right here and now let's go ahead and let's hook it up to the uh tv here all right so let me go ahead and uh just shut this off. Let me go ahead and pull out the Chromecast. We're going to put it into my 10 year old Sony 720 LCD TV here. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick an HDMI port here. I have a USB plug up here too. I'm going to go ahead and give that power. Let me go ahead and turn the TV over. And let's turn the TV on. Okay, so the TV's on, the Chromecast is on. Now I need to go to the correct uh, HDMI port. So let me go ahead and go to my remote here. On your remote, click on uh, for TV input or like source. And we wanna go down to the correct HDMI port. Obviously it's number four because it's the only one that's highlighted, only thing that's in this TV here. I'm gonna connect on that. And let's grab another phone here. Here's a iPhone 10, and let's go ahead and cast a Netflix movie here. Let's go back in here and we'll pick a movie. Let's just pick uh, Black Panther really really quickly. I'll click on uh, resume here because I was watching this earlier. Now I do need to cast it as well. Click on the cast icon. It's over here. Let me just tap on that. It says office TV right there. Let me tap on that. And now I can go ahead and resume and now it should play on my TV. And let me shut this light off. Of course, the volume and everything is coming out from the uh, actual, it's coming out from the TV, not the phone. So there you guys go. Let me go ahead and disconnect this. I can just go ahead and swipe up here and click on that casting icon right there and just click on disconnect for uh, Netflix. Well, there you guys go. If you guys have any questions or anything, just comment below. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you on the next one. See you guys. Bye.